The fundamental counting principle, or sometimes known as the fundamental principle of counting, is a rule used to count the total number of possible outcomes in a situation. It states that if there are n ways of doing something and m ways of doing another thing after that, then there are n times m ways to perform both of these actions. In other words, if you can choose one item from a group of m items and a second item from a group of n items, then the total number of two item choices is m times n. This principle can be best understood by looking at a tree diagram. A tree diagram, like here, displays all the possible outcome of an event or a representation of all possible choices. This tree diagram here shows that there are two times three, which is equal to six, different outfits from two pairs of jeans and three t-shirts. Let's apply the fundamental counting principle to the following example. The Greasy Spoon restaurant offers six appetizers and 14 main courses. In how many ways can a person order a two-course meal? When you say two-course meal, that means you get one appetizer and one from the main courses. Now, choosing one of the six appetizers and one of the 14 main courses, the total number of two-course meals is six times 14, which is equal to 84. That is, multiplying the number of choices for the appetizers and the number of choices for the main courses. So since you have six choices for appetizers and 14 choices for your main course, six times 14, which is equal to 84, gives you the total number of two course meals. Let's extend the fundamental counting principle to more than two groups of items. In general, the number of ways in which a series of successive things can occur is found by multiplying the number of ways in which each thing can occur. To illustrate this, let's take a look at this tree diagram here. In this tree diagram, we are shown the number of possible outfits from two pairs of jeans, three shirts, and two pairs of sneakers. Each pair of jeans can be paired to three different t-shirt options. And each of this can be paired to two different sneakers option. Now by looking at the tree diagram, we see that we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 12 different outfits. By applying the fundamental counting principle, since we have two choices for the pair of jeans and three choices for shirts, and also two choices for a pair of sneakers, then we have two times three times two, which is equal to 12 different outfits. Next semester, you are planning to take three courses, namely math, English, and humanities. There are eight sections of math, five sections of English, and four sections of humanities that you find suitable. Assuming no scheduling conflicts, how many different three course schedules are possible? This situation involves making choices with three groups of items. We have math, English, and humanities. Now for mathematics, since there are eight sections of math, you therefore have 
eight choices for mathematics. Now you have five sections of English, so therefore you have five choices for English and four choices for humanities since there are four sections of humanities available. Using the fundamental principle of counting, you have eight times five times four, which is equal to 160 different three course schedules. Another example, you are taking a multiple choice test that has 10 questions. Each of the questions has four answer choices with one correct answer per question. If you select one of these four choices for each question and leave nothing blank, in how many ways can you answer the questions? This situation here involves making choices with 10 questions. Each question has four different answer choices. Applying the fundamental counting principle, the number of different ways you can answer the question is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. These are the four choices for each question. So you just multiply 4 to itself 10 times. That's, that gives you 4 to the 10th. And that is equal to 1,048,576 number of different ways you can answer the 10 questions. Let's apply the fundamental counting principle to the following problem. Telephone numbers in the United States begin with three-digit area codes followed by seven-digit local telephone numbers. Area codes and local telephone numbers cannot begin with zero or one. How many different telephone numbers are possible? Since telephone numbers begin with three-digit area codes, and followed by seven digit local telephone numbers. This situation involves making choices with 10 groups of items. Now here are the choices for each of the 10 groups of items. We have area code followed by the seven digit local telephone number. Note that the area codes and the local telephone numbers cannot begin with zero or one. As for the digits, we have 10 different options. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That makes 10 different possible digits for each of the numbers. For the area code, since the first digit cannot be zero or one, Therefore, out of the 10 different options, we only have 8. For the next digit, we still have 10 choices and also 10 for the third digit. For the local telephone number, the first digit cannot also be 0 or 1. Now that leaves us 8 choices for the first digit and 10 choices for each of the digits after the first. Applying the fundamental counting principle, the total number of different telephone numbers is equal to 8 times 10 times 10 times 8 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, times 10 which is equal to this number here.